Steve Grazione here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about a simple topic of how to establish or calculate lean body mass for an individual. So maybe this is you, maybe this is one of your clients, but we are going to talk about calculating lean body mass. Now, this is a very simple mathematic equation, and in most cases, like you can get to the point, honestly, to where you just look at somebody's physique and you can basically tell just about within a few percent um, what their body fat percentage actually is. And what I'll do under this post is actually put a picture of the kind of the, the format that I typically utilize because again, when you've done it for so long, you just can look at a body and you're like, all right, she's, she's probably about 17, 18% body fat. He's probably about 20% body fat, just as an example. So if you guys want the mathematic way to figure this out, here we go, step one through four. And what we're gonna do first is, you're gonna need a couple of things. So first and foremost, you're gonna need a body fat scale. A lot of the scales that uh, everybody's buying nowadays, you can jump on them. Granted, whether or not they're 100% accurate, obviously that's up for debate, and in most cases they're not, as a lot of different cofactors play a role in the IO impedance scales, because essentially what it's doing is it's sending an electrical current through your body, and basically analyzing like all of the fluids and all of the other tissues that could potentially make up fat and water. So the more hydrated you are, the more consistent you are with your hydration, chances are that the scale is actually going to be much more accurate over time. So keep that in mind when you have clients that are checking their weight and they're using a body fat scale, that fluid balance really does play a big role, okay? Here we go, so check weight with a body fat scale, okay? That's the first step. And let's say for instance, if I was 200 pounds and the scale told me I'm 20% body fat, all right? Where we go next is step number two, and this is minus your body fat percent from 100. So if I take my body fat percent, which is 20%, and I minus that from 100, I get 80%. So essentially what this is telling me is that I'm 80% lean body mass. Now what you do is you take and you divide lean mass by 100 to get you this nice pretty decimal point here, which you can tell for me is gonna be 0.8, all right? Now what you do with this, you go down to step four and you say, all right, let's go ahead and multiply lean mass times body weight, so lean mass is 0.8, body weight's 200, and what that gives me is 0.8 times 200 equals 160 pounds of lean body mass. Now, to provide you guys a little bit more of an in-depth example, like let's say for instance, um, let's go ahead and talk about a female. All right, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the female population, because most of you are probably gonna be working with this population more than the male population, which would kind of correlate with what I just worked through, which was like a 200 pound individual, maybe 20% body fat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize an example of a female client, we're gonna do this one in pink, and this one is 150 pounds and 30% body fat. Now this probably sounds like very familiar to a lot of you who are working with females. I can tell you guys that in my experience, this is you know, probably about the average, I'd say anywhere from like maybe 145, maybe up to like 175, 180. Um, and you know, they're typically always between like maybe 30 to maybe 40% body fat. So how do we work that out? Um, I'll also say that it's probably a good idea if you're not super savvy with math, that you utilize a calculator, all right? So first and foremost, check your weight with a body fat scale. Now we know that this client weighs 150 pounds, and we know that she's 30% body fat based off the bioimpedance scale that we utilized to get this data. So then what you do is you take, you minus body fat from 100. So we have body fat, which is 30, minus 100, it's gonna give us 70, okay? Now what you do is you have to divide lean mass, which is 70, by 100. So if we divide 70, by 100, we end up getting 0.7, okay? Now, all you have to do is take lean mass, which is 0.7, okay? And you times that by starting body weight, which is 150. Now, what does this give us? I don't have a calculator, but I think it's like 105, I believe it's 105, okay? So this would allow us to think, to know that this specific client 
This 150 pound, 30% body fat female client has 105 pounds of lean body mass, okay? Now that would also then tell us what's left. There's 45 pounds of adipose, okay? Now obviously for a female, like, we're not trying to get rid of all of the adipose tissue. Like, I would look at this and I'd say, if we could get half of that off, she'd probably be in phenomenal shape, right? So if we can get half that off, we can, you know, get her down about 20 pounds, she's probably gonna feel so much better. And overall, this is basically how you figure out how to calculate lean body mass. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. See you in the next one.